what are some of the great things about Macaulay that, that you as, as a, the MLA in the area really appreciate about the area? Well, I, I like Chinatown a lot. Um, uh, you know, I think uh, next to Vancouver, we've probably got the best Chinatown in Western Canada. And, and there's just so much uh, to do, so many great restaurants and so on. And Little Italy, too, you know, uh, mm -hmm. the Italian Centre is a great place to shop and meet people on Saturdays and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so, you know, those are those are some really good things. Um, I'm, I'm rather proud of the... Um, uh, Boyle Macaulay uh, Health Center too, I, because I think it's a kind of, a, a, it was a very pioneering kind of uh, way of delivering health care, um, the people that otherwise might not have access to it, and I think they've done a really good job as well serving the, serving their patients and their clients. Mm -hmm. So there's, uh, you know, the housing is, uh, is mixed, but I love the older neighborhoods, I love the uh, uh, you know the trees and so on. Uh, Giovanni Caboto Park is is a jewel as well. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that Macaulay rises to address the social issues that affect the area? Well, you know, I I follow with interest some of the things that have happened in terms of the different approaches of different um, groups of leadership in in the community and so on. And you know, I I tend to think that we we solve these issues best by working together and talking to each other and collaborating, uh, working out solutions. I, I'm sympathetic to the view that, um, you know, some neighborhoods, including Macaulay, should not be asked to share more than their fair share of caring for people that, um, you know, that need some help, that might be vulnerable populations and so on. And I, and I, so I'm sympathetic to the view that, that, that it's not shared fairly, but I do find Macaulay residents generally to be, um, you know, quite compassionate people who, who really uh, do want to, to help everybody and make everyone welcome. And, and, and I, I appreciate that very much mm -hmm. about the community. What is your view of the current statistic that Macaulay has just over 60% of social housing in the neighborhood at this time? That's the percentage? That is the percentage. Of, yeah. of the total housing within Macaulay? Of the total housing within Macaulay. Now that includes, according to Mike Van Boom with the Interfaith Housing yeah, yeah. Um, Network, that includes all of the mats at Hope Mission. If you took that away, it would be a little over 30%. Okay. Um, with with Hope Mission, it would be over 60%. Yeah. Um, according to his statistics, when you go over 20, you're okay up to about 20% a right, community. Right. When you start going over 20%, that's when some of the more pressing issues kind Unde of... Undesirable behaviors and mm -hmm. activities and uh, stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that goes to the, to the point that I made earlier about uh, asking... Mm -hmm you know, one neighborhood to carry uh, a, a much larger burden, um, if you want to call it a burden, but to a much higher percentage of dealing with some of these uh, social issues and these, these housing issues. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, I think all their neighborhoods in the in the uh, city should should um, uh, carry their weight too, should take a, a share of this. In fact, back when I was on city council, I fought for... Uh, I fought for uh, amendments to the city policy mm -hmm. that would require um, a certain amount of um, uh, lower income or affordable housing or social housing in every neighborhood in the city. Uh, and that would set upside limits on how much could be put in any one. What are some of the positive aspects of social housing? Why should other neighborhoods be more welcoming of social housing coming into their areas? Well, I think everybody benefits by having a mix of people from different backgrounds. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't think people should be afraid of poor people. You know, they have a lot to offer. I, I've, I've been at, you know, events where, you know, serving dinner to low-income people. One, one time I remember Christmas uh, at one event serving uh, Christmas dinner. And as a man came in with his girl, his, his daughter, who was about eight or nine and there was a piano and she sat down and she played the piano beautifully like we were all just blown away so people have gifts people have things to offer and I think that we all benefit when we know people from different walks of life and diff different parts of the country different 
parts of the world, um, it all enriches uh, our lives. How would you address fears that people may have about, like you said, poor people coming into the neighborhood? Maybe these are people who have never experienced poverty before or mm-hmm. have a certain stereotype of, of what a homeless person yeah. or a lower yeah. income person may be yeah. like. Yeah. Well, you know, my my advice is is to, to welcome them and get to know them. And you'll find out that they're real people and they have interesting stories um, and that... Uh, uh, with a little bit of acceptance, they can make a significant contribution to the community. Uh, I would say that. I would say where you get into trouble is if there's over concentrations uh, of poverty in poor people, um, and uh, people become ghettoized, and and then wealthy people can go on blissfully ignorant of the conditions that exist in other parts of their own city, and that I think is 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 also not healthy. Mm-hmm. Um, is the province doing anything right now to to address uh, housing shortages? Yes. Or? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've we've significantly increased the amount of funding available for affordable housing in the budget and for for social housing as well. Uh, so it's a priority for the government. Of course, we have a very difficult. Um, financial situation as a government we're faced with with a very large deficit as a result of huge drop in oil revenues Um, and we've been uh, saying for years that we're over dependent on royalties from oil and gas to fund our social programs including health and education and we have to get away from that but in the meantime we're caught yet again with a with a significant drop in the price of oil Um, But having said that, we are doing our very best to make sure that this is a priority that is met to the the best of our ability and to the best of our financial capacity. Mm -hmm. What is a caring community? Just not not specifically talking about Macaulay, but in general, what what is a caring community? What does it look like? What are the people like in it? Well, I think they're people that know their neighbors. You know, I I like older neighborhoods in particular because, you know, they, they have front porches. And you know, little picket fences on the front, and and you talk to people as they go by, and and I like to have activities, you know. So, for example, you know, the Italian Center, and and so on. There's all kinds of people there, uh, people out sitting on the sidewalk having a cup of coffee, and you know, meeting and chatting at the different restaurants and so on in in um, in the uh, in, in the Chinatown area. I think. Those, those are good examples of, of a caring community. Um, you know, I guess I would say that I was so impressed with how Alberta came together with the Fort McMurray fire and how people just pitched in. You know, you didn't need the government to tell them to do it. You didn't need social agencies to do it for them. You know, people would step up. And, and I think that um, we need more of that. Um, uh, and and um, uh, I think that uh, things will get better. Mm-hmm. Is you, there... you also need to have mm-hmm. housing uh, get, to get back to your housing thing. Housing mm-hmm. is the first need that people have, right? <laughs> you can't be part of a community and you can't care about other people unless you've got a safe place to live. And th- so that's a key priority as well. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, I just you know appreciate the chance to talk a little bit about Macaulay. I think it's, mm-hmm. uh, it's a wonderful neighborhood. It has its challenges, there's no doubt about it. Um, but there are great people there and uh, it's a place where people actually come from all over the city Um, uh, and uh, I I think um, the city's a lot better off uh, having that community there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.